Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to another uh, BNB Sports Talk. Uh, today we're going to be covering the NBA Finals. We already picked all of our division winners for the East and West, and um, we're also going to be picking MVP, uh, Finals MVP, and Defensive Player of the Year. <coughs> so... <clears throat> my two teams, and I, I hate to do this, I hate to pick a rematch, but I'm going to do it. Um, I think it's, I, I tried, I tried to make a case for maybe the Rockets or the, you know, Pacers or something. <clears throat> but I just couldn't, I, I just think the Spurs and the Heat are, they are the two bit. They were the two best teams a year ago, and I still believe they are. I mean, I just think they, you know, I mean, when you look in the West, you have the Spurs, who I pick, and then you have the Thunder, but I don't really trust them. But, you know, Westbrook's out, and uh, they just haven't been able to get it done when they really have needed to in the last few years. And I really like the Rockets, but I just think they're, you know, I don't want to pick them just yet. And then, you know, in the East, you've got, I like Indiana a lot, um, but, you know, I like Brooklyn. But overall, I just think, if you look at Miami and San Antonio, I just think those are the two best teams out there. <laughs> and I think they're going to prove to be as long as they stay healthy. That's the only kind of, you know, obviously uh, gray area. But And then who I have winning, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to pick the, the uh, I'm going to pick the Spurs. I think it'll be similar to what happened last season, but I don't think Miami's gonna get get away with um, what they got. They had to ta have an all-time great shot by Ray Allen to save their season, and I don't see that. Uh, I mean, it's a long way down the road, but right now in October, I just that's what I see happening. So, what, how, what do you have? I. <clears throat> I'm going to pick something totally out of the blue. I'm saying Brooklyn and OKC. Because I am impressed with Brooklyn having like a, a lineup made up of entirely all-stars and having a good sixth man. And also, I like OKC. I think they can do it. I think, I think Russell, or uh, I think... Uh, even with Russell out in the beginning, they'll be able to, you know, win enough games, and um, they'll be able to go to the chance to go to the finals. Because not even the Heat, and, the, and back to Brooklyn, not even the Heat have all entire uh, lineup made up of entirely all stars. I mean, there are not very many teams that can boast yeah. that. So those are my teams that I pick. Yeah, I really wanted to. To do something like that, but I just, I just couldn't talk myself into it. Um, MVP though, I'm going to pick LeBron again. I mean, I'm sorry, I, I see it very similar season to last year. Really, I, I don't see why LeBron can't do it again. Um, he's just the best player in the NBA right now by, by far, I would say. And I just think he's gonna prove to be the best player again, and, and you know, he's, he's gonna be, we know, one thing we know about LeBron is he doesn't get hurt, really, he's very, very durable, and if, as long as he stays healthy, I see him winning another, uh, his fifth MVP, I mean, you know, when you, I mean, look at the competition, he got, you know, I would say Kevin Durant, uh, I wanted to pick James Harden, actually, but I just don't think he's quite, 
quite there yet, you know, I, um, but yeah, so, who's your MVP? Um, I'm going to say LeBron wins the MVP again. I think he'll catch, I think he'll catch up to the leader, you know, he'll probably eventually hold the most MVP awards. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I think, I think it'll be LeBron. And, um, because, I mean, he's, he's, <clears throat> he's excellent on defense, an excellent passer, excellent on offense. He's improved his shooting well, and I think that'll only continue to improve. And, um, I mean, right now, LeBron is the best, and he can only get better. Yeah. So that's why, that's what I think is, that's who I think LeBron. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, he's just... He's getting better, you know. Every every year, he seems to he seems to kind of add something to his game, you know. That that um, but yeah. So I'm gonna go for for defensive player of the year. I'm gonna take Dwight Howard. Um, I feel like he, you know, in in his new team, Houston. I feel like he'll be he'll do well. Um, I'd like to see him improve his offense, but we're talking about strictly defense. And I'm as far as I'm concerned, there's no better defensive player than than Howard. Um, I believe he already has two or three um, defensive player of the year awards already, so I see him, you know, I, I mean, there's other good, good centers who can maybe challenge him for the, for the, MV, for the, uh, defensive player of the year, but I just see him, his ability to block shots, just to guard the basket, um, I, I just think that's kind of, unparalleled really and uh so yeah who do you who you got hmm let me think about this for like a nanosecond dwight howard he is you know he is incredible at, on defense his offense is is questionable but his defense is un, un uh, it's that's it's unable to be you know it's unparalleled it's to block shots, his um, his pure size, his dominance in the paint. He's just, you know, there's nobody that can beat him. Uh, and I think as long as he's around, it'll be it'll be something to see if someone else wins it. Yeah. Um, and as far as his offense, I'm interested. His, now he's with, uh, you know, the head coach is Mikhail, and then Elijah one. Uh, is, um, you know, affiliated with the Rockets and everything, so I, I'm curious to see if his offense can improve by those two guys who are some of the most, uh, best post players, uh, if they can help him, but anyway, um, so we have our, our, N, our finals MVP. Um, I'm going to go with, with, uh, Tony Parker. Uh, I, I think he, I think Duncan and Ginobili, you know, they're aging, and I think, but I think they're going to be good enough to get San Antonio back to the, to the finals, but I see Parker <laughs> as, like, the only guy who's really in his prime still, and I see him carrying, carrying them. Again, you know, if he's healthy, but um, I yeah, I see Parker. Uh, he's as far as I'm concerned, he's the best point guard in the NBA. I mean, he's his his passing ability, his scoring ability together are are the best. You know, you have guys that can really really shoot it and score, like you know Westbrook and Rose, <laughs> and then you have guys who can really really pass, like maybe Rondo or, but, but 
Parker, he does both very, very well. And uh, I think I've got I've got him I've got Parker Tony Parker winning the finals uh, MVP. Okay. <clears throat> um, I sorry, but I did not pick the winner of the finals. I think that Brooklyn will win the finals, and I think that Kevin Garnett. Uh, I think that Kevin Garnett will probably win the MVP of the finals, just because of his. You know, his, he's one defensive player of the year. And he's an amazing scorer. He can score up the wazoo. And he can, you know, he's and he's good. You know, he can get down on the block. And I think that that's what um, I think that's that's why I'm going to pick him. Even though he is getting a little bit older, becoming one of the more veteran people, I think he'll win it. All right. Um, interesting. Uh, interesting pits. Um, so please, please, uh, or thank you, thank you very much for watching, first of all, and then please, uh, you know, like and subscribe and comment and all that, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, have a, have a great day.